In this video, I'll be doing a review of What OS Release 7, the 64 bit version. Now, What OS is an extremely lightweight Ubuntu based distro. It's actually lighter than Lubuntu. So, if you've got an older system that's, say, 12 plus years old with less than 256 meg of RAM, could be an ideal distro for you. Well, starting with the memory usage, you can see it is pretty low 153 meg used. Now this is the 64-bit version. When I was trying out the 32-bit version, that figure was around 90 meg used. So you could shoehorn that in on a system with about 128 meg of RAM. That would be a system that's about 12 to 14 years old. That's pretty good going. The real competitor to this distro is Lubuntu. And looking at it, it seems to be fairly similar. But that memory usage is quite a bit lower. Lubuntu is around 190 meg of RAM. And just because it's lightweight, don't think that you don't have any features to it. As you can see here, I've got a spreadsheet program, so that's GNumeric, and that is compatible with uh, Microsoft Office documents. Abbey word for Word documents. You've got web browser, as you saw there, was Chromium, and that even worked with YouTube. The memory usage didn't seem to go that high when I was using it. You can play all your media with VLC Media Player. And Audacious seems to work with MP3 files right out of the box. Now there is one problem with this distro, and that lies within PC Man FM. If I try and access SMB shares, well, I've got the view of the folders. Now let's try and open something and go in there. The specified location is not mounted. Yes, so go and mount it then. And I don't know why it's doing that. It is very weird. I had a similar sort of problem in Lubuntu, but I think this one's actually worse. I think I did actually manage to get it mounted in Lubuntu, but it was very difficult to copy files off the drive. So if instead I go for the SSH version, as you can see there, I've got to the same location, but now I can go and open up folders. But it's still not as simple as that. If I go onto one of these folders I want to copy, there's no copy. I right click, you can't copy. Now you can drag files across, so if I went to there and open up music and drag and drop it that way, that will work. But that is really annoying, that's, and that's just a feature of PC Man FM here. Uh, you could easily swap this for another file manager, that's not too difficult. Anyway, let's just cancel that, I don't need to show all that working. Now I think the styling has a lot to be desired for in what OS. Uh, I'm not keen on it. Yes, they've gone to appeal for that very green look. The green taskbar. Hmm. I don't know about that. We've got a few other desktop backgrounds included, all along the same theme of greenness. But the styling of the applications doesn't look too bad. They've tried to make the most of their basic look here with uh, a bit of gradient on the application menu bar. The grey for the program, uh, well. Hey look, Windows had a grey theme to it, and uh, I don't think too many people complained about that. Anyway, there's not much else you can really say about this distro. It is exceptionally lightweight, and very fast to open applications up. So we'll take a look at what applications we get pre-installed. So, accessories, yeah, nothing that notable. Graphics, we've got Pinter. What was Pinter? Well, that's just a basic paint program. Internet, Chromium for the web browser, FileZilla FTP client, and Transmission for Torrent client. Office, as, you, as you've seen there, we've got AbbeyWord, GNumeric, and we've also got a PDF viewer. Sound and video, we've got Audacious Media Player, Cheese Webcam Viewer, Volume Control, VLC, and XF Burn for burning DVDs and CDs. System Tools, we've got the GW Package Installer and Task Manager, and Preferences, a variety of pro applications here. If you want to install new applications, it really is very basic. You've just got the Synaptic Package Manager. There you are, there's something that could brighten it up, the Lubuntu Software Center. So if you install that, you'll get a nicer view of applications you can install. But it's possible to manage a system under Synaptic. It's basic, but it does the job. There it is, Lubuntu Software Center. So that's a bit nicer. I wonder why they didn't put that on there. I wonder if it's because the ISO image size was getting a bit near to the top of what a CD can fit. Well here's what I thought of what OS release 7. Now really I'm comparing this distro to Lubuntu. And let's see what I thought. So ease of installation. There's a bit of an annoying thing on here where you had to log in. It was just username was guest and I think password was blank. 
little annoying feature though. Styling, I thought the Ubuntu looked a bit nicer really. It was a little bit dull and basic here on Watt OS. The boot up speed though, Watt OS was about two seconds quicker with a six second boot up time in VirtualBox. Now if it had got under five seconds, I would have given it five stars. So it was pretty close to getting five stars there. Responsiveness, yeah, it's pretty damn instant. Number of bugs, same as I've said with Lubuntu, that PC Man FM has issues with Samba shares. Selection of pre-installed applications, just a minor criticism here. I thought it could have done with the software center. Synaptic is all fine and well, but it's not very uh, inviting to new users. Number of applications available, it's the same as Lubuntu. And you got both the 32 and 64 bit versions. So, good points. Well, it is a very lightweight OS that's capable of running on systems of less than 128 meg of RAM. So, that's about a, oh, let me think, 12, 15 year old system. 12 to 15 year old system. Pretty old, really. Bad points, though, being based on Ubuntu 13.04, it's only got a short support time of nine months. But overall, I've given this distro 82%, which is about 5% lower than I've given Ubuntu. So, in my choice, if I was going between the two of them, I would take Lubuntu. Only if I was using a system so starved of memory and so slow, perhaps I might consider what OS. Hey, that's my advice there. Thanks for watching. See you later.